What are we doing? Shopping. Four? Snacks. Shopping for snacks. I like it. I think this one's good. So, got our first load. Besides those, those are those are for us. But uh, we got our first load of uh, vending machine products because we're about to be placing it on Wednesday. Today's Monday, uh, July 12th. So, we're gonna go buy this stuff and uh, let's see how much it comes up to. It's ready. <laughs> Look at the goldfish like falling out. Yeah. Our luck that will slip through. Someone can really go. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So we got everything. We got our new sticker on there, and uh, we're pretty much ready to do a this test. Is so bend. sad. Those two at the bottom. I know, right? Might have to How reload do do those. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna try and test vend or whatever, and we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, so I can't remember if I recorded. I don't think I did. Um, I know I took pictures, but I'll put the pictures before this as you guys already have seen. But, so we got our machine on location, and uh, I kinda wanna give you guys a, a quick story real quick because we kinda already ran into like people being negative. So, there's this customer at our first vending machine location that she pulled up at the same time as us and she was uh she walked inside and everything and of course we were wheeling it off the trailer or unstrapping it wheeling it off the trailer and then uh, brought it inside got it through the doorway no issues and then we had to rearrange the seating inside their lobby to get our vending machine in the in the corner that it needed to be in so we did that and she's uh she's already talking to like the the, the employees there and she's like oh you guys aren't gonna have anywhere to sit i still think you guys are gonna have anywhere to sit uh, da, 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 da. like being just being negative and stuff so i was like oh god here we go we got negative nancy already here like so then uh throughout the time you know once i once we got the machine in place plugged it in and stuff then we went back out to the truck and started loading all of the uh the product in there and so we brought everything inside and i asked the lady i was like hey do you uh do you want anything while i'm here i can get it to you for free versus you having to pay for it you know inside the machine because i can't give like discounts codes or anything and she uh she was like no i think i'm all right there's so many options and stuff like that so then the owners and employees started talking to me and you know they were like how did i get into the business and i was just giving them giving them the the backstory and everything and she of course heard it and uh eventually she started lightening up and then right before i was getting ready to leave she was like you know what i changed my mind and I, she was like can i have two or can i have one of the uh of the hershey's hershey's chocolate bars with the uh with almonds and i was like sure absolutely um so instead of giving her one i gave her two so that's a little tactic that i used and <laughs> It's just to be nice, like, you know, of course, I, I even asked, I, I offered the entire shop, um, it was, a, it's an auto repair shop that we put our, uh, our first machine in, and I offered her and everybody there, you know, free stuff while I was there, of course, uh, because once I close the machine and lock it up, I can't, and I'm not there, I can't give you guys free stuff. So, uh, yeah, just, main thing that I, I, I kind of want to, you know, point out is, don't let people, you know, try and be negative. You're always going to have the negative people in your life and use that as motivation. I was using her as a motivational um, person to, uh, for me and I was actually killing her with kindness. That was mainly my goal. Um, you know, the entire time I was being nice to her and stuff like that. So she ended up changing her, her outlook on the business because she even heard my backstory. Uh, so just don't let people be negative to you. Keep pushing. That's all I got to say. I'm gonna go home, get this stuff back in the house, and uh, I gotta start adding everything into our software. That way we can keep track of what product is selling and what's not. So that's one thing I did not do, and I wish I would've done it before we got the machine on site. Back at the house, and got all the inventory back inside, and we are in the process of entering in all of the, um, what is that stuff called? items into our reporting system that way we can keep track of what's being sold and what's not so eventually probably not today but 
uh, in the near, very near future, what my plan is, is I want to kind of create like a warehouse database because uh, that's only going to track, I believe, what's inside the machine. So I want to be able to create like a warehouse spreadsheet that tells us what we have at, at the warehouse. That way, if we're out and we decide we want to go shopping for the business, we can kind of just pull up our phones and look like, oh, we need, you know, we need more chips or, or Doritos or whatever versus having to come here then go back out and all that stuff. So we're just going through trying to get everything done and uh, yeah. All right, so we just finished our kind of restock slash money pickup and this is what we got. Don't mind the uh, the zip ties and the little sensor that's in there. This is just the bag from uh, Greenlight that I had and I was like, I'm gonna use this as our bank bag because I wasn't sure if I was gonna mess with the wires today or not, but I didn't, I wasn't really in the mood to. So we made, let's see, let's see, let's see, one, two, four dollars. Four dollars in bills. And I don't know how much it changed, but you guys can see it right there. We're going to deposit that into our account and uh, keep it moving. So this sale, or this, what do you call it, this location that, of ours that we have, I don't know if it's just like they're more interested in drinks or what, but we have a snack machine currently on site and it's not really doing too good. I'm going to be completely up front. Like, we, it's not, a, 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 let me back up. It hasn't been a week yet. Today is only Monday. We put it on site on Wednesday. So they're closed on Sunday. So that's one day already out. But just the sales haven't been too good. So um, I'm a little bit concerned, but I'm going to give it more time. But I've been thinking about just switching it out with a smaller combo machine. That way it sells drinks and snacks and at a smaller price. Or not smaller price, same price, but smaller uh, machine. Huh? Smaller quantity yeah smaller quantity versus us having to buy bulk thing bulk things and it not selling that's what i'm really concerned about so right now we only got two things in the machine that's really selling good that's the chocolate chip cliff bars and doritos like the normal ones so we'll see we just changed it a few products out with uh pop tarts skittles and what, honey what else honey buns and no the the other cliff bar what kind was it I forgot yep, what kind. Peanut, peanut yeah, peanut butter cliff bars. So we'll see how those kind of sell and kind of go from there. But yeah, we're waiting on this. Well, we're waiting on our second machine to get here. And uh we're gonna find another location instead of taking that machine and putting it at this current location that we have because I don't think it's gonna it's gonna sell very or I don't think it's gonna do very good. So alrighty guys. So got some bad news. Good news and bad news, I should say. So today I'm at work and I checked my uh, my Facebook uh, ad that I posted and a guy responded to me wanting to know if I can give him a call. So I gave him a call and uh, he didn't answer. So I left the voicemail. By the time I hung up the phone, there was another person calling me and it was a guy from the shipping company for our second machine. He was like, hey, you know, uh, just want to let you know I'm about two or three stops away from you. Um, and, you know, just want to make sure everything was still good. And I was like, I wasn't planning on you guys coming until Friday. But, you know, hey, uh, two days early is fine. Today's Wednesday, by the way. Today's Wednesday, July 21st. And I was like, you know, I'm perfectly fine with that. Let me, uh, let me make sure I can leave work real quick and uh, I'll meet you at the house. So, long story short, I get off work. And, well, let me back up. I'm sorry. I get the, uh, while I get off the phone with him, or excuse me, I'm, I have another phone call coming in as I'm on the phone with the shipping guy. And he's like, yeah, we, uh, you know, we want to place a machine in our business and stuff like that. I was like, okay, perfect. And pretty much got another location lined up, right? So I'm like, he's like wanting to know when can we deliver it? And I was like, hey man, I'm just waiting on the card reader. Um, the reason I couldn't answer your phone just a second ago because um, I was on the phone with the shipping company and the machine is actually going to be here today. I just have to wait on the card reader. So hopefully it'll be within the next two weeks that I can get it on site for you. Let me fast forward now. 
to the part where I get to my house. The delivery truck driver's outside. He rolls up the back door, and the first thing I see is a pallet, a pallet jack, and a box that is laying lengthwise. So it's like side to side, not vertical. It's horizontal. So I'm like, it fell over? And the guy, the shipper guy, was just like looking like dumbfounded, like, you know, like, like didn't want to say anything. And I was like, oh my goodness, like, we're already starting off great. So we, uh, we eventually, like, I look at it and it looks like it fell on the glass, which is the front side of the actual machine. Um, the top half, it's a Witter in 3589 is what I ordered. And, uh, the top half of it didn't crack. So I don't know what the bottom half looked like because it was covered by the cardboard box. But anyways, the guy starts trying to get it back onto the uh to the pallet and off the truck and the locking latch to open up the the door gets caught in between his uh his lift gate and it's like bent up i was like dude just go ahead and stop right there go ahead and load it back on your truck because i'm not going to accept the, sh the shipment and uh i was just like dude this, this is crazy like words can't even describe like what how pissed off I am like I told the guy I was like dude I'm mad but at the same time I understand it's life things happen or otherwise I told him I was like man shit happens like I'm not gonna be mad at you you know it it, it probably is his fault you know he's the driver he's ultimately responsible for his load and like I said I can't remember if I told you guys or not um I told kind of all my friends or whatever but uh, I didn't see any straps at all, like, on the vending machine itself. And I'm like, dude, like, this is just, this is crazy. Like, how, how do you not strap your load down? Like, it was the only thing left in his truck, and you didn't think to, to strap it down. But not, not only that, but, dude, you, uh, it's the only thing in there, and... That machine is 600 pounds. How did you not feel that machine fall? Like, I know every time I drive a box truck, like, if I hear one thing shift back there, I, like, pull over and make sure everything's good. But then again, I, I have straps. Like, I strap my load. So, I don't know, guys. I just... I, I should have inserted pictures. I, I took some pictures of the whole incident. Um, I'll insert those over me talking. Um... But yeah, that's kind of where we are. So I gotta wait for the uh, the new machine to come in. Hopefully, I can even get another machine because these machines were used. The guy had like ten of them, and uh, I think by the time I ordered mine, I think he had like seven. And I don't know what he's at right now. So we just gotta wait and see. Hopefully, it's still a good amount. But I just I don't know. I'm kind of pissed off. But guys, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. Um, unfortunately, on a bad note, I guess you could say. Um, hopefully, the next video will have some good news with another machine coming in. And, uh, yeah, the shipping company, I did speak to the manager of the shipping company. And he said uh, that they're going to work on getting me another machine. But I also need to do it on my end and stuff. So hopefully, it's not that much of a pain. And I even requested for the machine to be rushed because I was like, dude, I, I was expecting the machine to be here this week. But it's just a pain in the butt. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button down below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, um, you know, in the, in the, the journey to uh, in the, the pathway, however you want to call it. If you want to see that to getting these riches, I guess you could say, and all of that and uh, the path to financial freedom uh click that subscribe button down below um it'll help me out a ton and uh yeah I, i'm glad to bring you guys along with for the journey and hopefully i can motivate you guys to go ahead and create your own business so good luck i'll see you guys my fault we'll be seeing you